DOB with your day-to-day -day BYU Sports play-by-play. -play. I'm Spencer Linton alongside Jerem Jordan. We are super excited to welcome in our first guest. He is Tyson Williams, former BYU running back and graduate transfer from the University of South Carolina. He's joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline via Skype. Tyson, welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. How was the quarantine uh, life going for you as you prepare for the NFL draft? Uh, it's a struggle, man. Like I said, I mean, a lot of places are closing. Um, and so it's just kind of hard to find out, find facilities and try to get a workout in. But nonetheless, you're still working. I mean, even if you got to go outside and just get some stuff in, you know, I'm all, that's, that'll always be available. So if I have to do that, then I will. And you've stayed local, right? Yeah, I have. I have. I just recently left. Um, I left yesterday, but I mean, up until like the past couple months, I've been I've been in Utah at Pleasant Grove. So, are you back home in uh, Sumter, South Carolina now? Yes, sir. I am. I am. How's uh, how's life back home? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Just like I say, everything is closing down. So, I mean, not a whole lot going on. Just kind of uh, staying in the house. I did a little at home workout today. So, uh, that's pretty much been it. I haven't been here too long. Give us an idea of what the at-home workout looks like for you. <laughs> at-home workout? Uh, I had a little medicine ball I had from high school, so I had to take it and use it throughout my whole workout. Um, I was doing, like, lunges, uh, sit-ups, push-ups, little push-up circuit. Um, and I was doing, like, some, uh, like, holding the ball over my head, doing, like, some uh, calf walks, walking on my uh, my tiptoes. So, I don't know. That's kind of just some simple stuff just to kind of just stay, stay moving, stay keep the blood flowing and stuff like that a thousand reps of each of those right yeah yeah a thousand if you can get two thousand that's great <laughs> <laughs> tyson williams with us on byu sports nation you mentioned you stayed in utah why did you opt to uh stay in utah for so long before going home to south carolina um i was just kind of going with like i said my agent he kind of had a, a great relationship with dave um Stroshan, and so he was just kind of like um i trust him and not only him, uh, the, the staff at BYU, um, Brett and, and Steve also. So, um, I mean, being that they had a lot of confidence in them, I trusted them, and then uh, I mean, it turned out great. The next step for you is to try and get into the NFL, right? And uh, hopefully yes, someone t someone's going to take a chance on you because your numbers uh, in college were good. And then your combine uh, numbers, your self-combine numbers were excellent um, in yeah. the three-cone. 6.81 would have been first at the combine, 24 bench yeah. reps. Holy mackerel, that would have been tied third. 4.21 shutter run tied for fifth. Your 40 would have been tied for sixth, 4.48. What were you most satisfied with out of all of that? Um, all of it, I think, honestly, uh, I'll probably have to say the 40, but nonetheless, I was just kind of uh, surprised that I was able to do it. You know what I mean? I was just kind of taking things day by day. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do a pro day because a lot of people asked me. I mean, it was kind of just depending on, you know, how I felt, how my knee was doing and, um, just kind of getting to that point. I was planning on even not running the 40 that day. Um, and I kind of just did it like last minute. I was like, nah, I think I'm gonna run today. So, um, really just kind of just overall, just the improvement I was able to make and, you know, just kind of my knee just being in a great place to be able to do that. Tyson, I'm hoping to run a five, four, eight. If I made the decision to run a 40 in the last <laughs> minute. So, uh, that's yeah. great stuff. Yeah, how'd, how'd, yes, you do, how'd you do that? What? Seven months off of an ACL tear. How Wild. did you do that? Yeah. Uh, I think just kind of as soon as you, as soon as you kind of have the surgery, um, they want, they want you to get moving and, and get going. So, um, just kind of, if you keep that routine and, and just kind of never take a break and also like just eat the right things and work out. Um, I think, I think you, you'll be fine. I don't, I don't think it's as, as far as stretch as, as people kind of make it, make it seem. Tyson, how would you explain your time at BYU? Though it was limited, uh, I, I'm sure you felt some of the serious fanfare from BYU Sports Nation. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, honestly, I mean, it was just crazy. Uh, like I said, probably just the highest of my highs. And then, like I said, going through the injury, it was probably like the lowest of my lows. I mean, um, when I was on the field, I mean, it was it was just a great time. And just the the bond I built with the, with the guys, even – you know, after I got injured and stuff like that, I mean, it's it's been great. And also the fans and everybody taking me in and stuff like that. I mean, I really just um, just kind of uh, just appreciative, you know, of everybody and BYU in the cell. At the time of your ACL tear, BYU's two and one and playing Washington. That ends up kind of getting out of hand, you know, uh, in that game. Certainly your injury played into that. But 
You had three touchdowns, and you averaged 5.4 yards per carry. What did you feel like you could have done with a full season? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, and a little tears coming out as I think about uh, this. It's just, it, w- it would have been a lot of fun. That's the, that's the only way I could put it. It would have been a lot of fun just because I, I was like, I mean, you, of course, the four, first four games, you kind of just want to make it. You want to make an impact. You know, you want to kind of do your thing. And then, you know, I feel like the rest of the schedule is going to be it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm thinking a thousand yards. I'm thinking a couple more wins at least, right? Is, yeah. is that a fair assessment? I think so. I, I would say that. Tyson Williams with us on BYU Sports Nation. The tears are welling up in the uh, eyeballs of Jerem Jordan <laughs> and me in Studio B. Uh, Tyson, again, because your time was limited, uh, you still you still made an impact. But in your mind, what was your favorite moment as a player on the field at BYU? Uh, I have to definitely say Tennessee. I have to say Tennessee going back to SEC country and um, just rolling in with my, my guys, you know, and just going in there taking over. So I would definitely have to say Tennessee. And they end up winning eight games. It's not like they were just an okay yeah. team. They were a good team, right? They turned that season around yeah. after starting uh, 0-2. And they had a good year. So we've been doing this best play bracket, the top eight football plays versus the top eight basketball plays. And mm-hmm. your touchdown in over double overtime advanced from the round of 16 to eight. So congratulations on wow, that. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Right? The, the fans vote on it. So all the, all the fans thank voted. You. You're now matched thank up. You. And this is going to be next Tuesday, by the way. So you can tweet out and encourage people to vote if you want. Uh, shameless plug. I will. I will. It's, you're going to face Dax Milne's touchdown catch against South Florida, like the one-hander. What's a, oh, be- the one hand What's a better okay. play in your okay. biased opinion? <laughs> oh, my biased opinion, I'm, I'm going to have to go with me. I'm going to have to go with me. But I like, I like Dak's uh, touchdown. Then I also like his little celebration. I believe that's the one he did, like the little Kodak dance. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with either one. You hey, can't let, go wrong with either one. And let's talk about that. Dax had we, – we came up with the top eight, right, a, a group of us here, of course. Uh, Dax had two of the top eight, Tyson. USC – and yep. South Florida. He was he was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. He's good. And like I said, next year it's, it's going to be even better for him because he's going to get a lot more opportunities. So that's my guy. And he took over for five. You know what I mean? So he's <laughs> he got my blessing. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Tyson, what does BYU mean to you at this point in your life? Um. Oh, man, it means a lot. I mean, even outside of football, um, just, the, just the way of life, um, taking it all in. You know, I think, you know, a lot of times, um, you kind of grow when you have to step outside your comfort zone. And I think that's kind of what I did for my last year. Um, just going out there, learning um, different things, learning about the culture and, and stuff like that. And that's just kind of things I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. So um, it's, it's, it's bigger than football, everything that I learned. Describe to us what your life is like right now, because it's one thing to not know what's going to happen in the next couple of months. We don't even know if there's going to be an NFL season in the fall, right? There's all kinds of – the NFL says there will be, but right now you're preparing physically. You want to stay in shape. You want to get on a roster, uh, you know, at mm-hmm. the end of the month, whether it's in the draft or as a free agent. Um, mm-hmm. what, what is that uncertainty like for you? Why you try and stay in shape in your house with your medicine ball? Um, it's hard, but like I said, you got to just take it a day at a time. You know what I mean? And, and each and every day I know I had a medicine ball and I know I have access to going outside unless they cut that off too. So, um, as long as I can do those two things, I'll be, I'll be fine. Besides getting ready for the NFL and chasing that dream, how do you feel your time otherwise? Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, not a bit coming back home, uh, seeing, seeing family, seeing friends, um, playing the game, and, you know, other than that, that's, that's about it. Not a whole lot going on. Is there a binge-worthy show that you have, or are you not uh, not the binge TV guy? Uh, it depends. I, I, I actually uh, told my mom to watch the show I had watched. It was uh, Hip Hop Evolution, so, I mean, she started it yesterday, so I just want to be with her as she, she, starts her little, <laughs> she starts her little thing. How is your mom doing, by the way? I know she's a huge influence in your life. She's in the military. Um, she's an inspirational figure. Yeah, yeah, she's doing good. She's doing good. She actually uh, went to work not too long ago, so just wait for her to get home and, you know, just spend some quality time with the family. Tyson, great to catch up with you, man. We appreciate uh, you joining us over Skype and are super excited about your football future. We wish you the best with your recovery, and let's do this again soon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all stay safe and, you know, continue to do the necessary things and go Cougs.
Absolutely. You got it, my friend. Thanks, Tyson brother. Williams on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. I may not have actually cried, but inside I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> Thinking about what could have been with, with Tyson. Oh, he... Ah, BYU doesn't get running backs like Tyson Williams very often. And we only saw four games. Ah, like three and a half games. He said it best. It would have been a lot of fun. <sighs> I'll try and do the rest of the show now, I guess. <laughs> Coming up, Heather.